Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to go through some troubleshooting steps if your HP X3000 G2 mouse is not working. But before we begin, I wanted to let you know a couple things. First, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. And second, I do have other videos on this mouse and I'll link those at the end of this video. And if you're interested in half time, please check those videos out. Okay, so we're going to turn the mouse over, but before we do, the laser light is under there. So make sure that you do not point the laser light at any living thing. And then when we turn the mouse over, we want to make sure that the on off switch is in the off position. Okay, and this is the battery cover. And so I'm going to get a hold of the side of the battery cover and gently lift it up and we'll just set the battery cover to the side for now. And you want to make sure that your battery is installed the correct direction. This mouse uses one AA battery and I'll show you where you can verify that information. But we do need to take this battery out and I'm going to use this tool here. This is a plastic tool that I got with a battery replacement kit that I bought for one of our cell phones. Okay, so I'm going to use this plastic tool just to get a hold of this side of the battery and then gently lift it out of the battery compartment. And then I'm just going to set the battery to the side for now. And if we look inside of the battery compartment, we can see the type of battery that this takes. It says AA, so we know that this takes one AA battery. This is where you can verify what type of battery your mouse takes. And if it doesn't say anything in there, then refer to your owner's manual. And we can also see that there is a plus sign on this side and a minus sign on this side. So you want to make sure that the battery is installed the correct direction. And if your battery was installed the correct direction, another thing that you can try is using a brand new battery. Okay, so now I'm going to reinstall this battery because this battery is okay. And just make sure that you install it the correct direction and make sure that it's installed all the way into place. Okay, so now I'm going to reinstall the battery cover and I'm just lining up this side first and then gently pressing down on this side until it snaps back into place. Okay, so now we're going to take the wireless USB receiver and install it into one of the USB ports and just make sure that it's installed all the way into the USB port. Okay, so now we can turn the mouse over, making sure not to point the laser light at any living thing. And then we can turn the on off switch to the on position and then press and hold the connect button for three seconds. And then we can turn the mouse back over and test it out and see if it's working. And if that didn't work, we're going to turn the mouse over, making sure not to point the laser light at any living thing and then turn the on off switch to the off position. And then we'll turn the mouse back over. And then we can take the wireless USB receiver out of this USB port and plug it into a different USB port and just make sure that it's plugged all the way into that USB port. Okay, and now we can turn the mouse over, making sure not to point the laser light at any living thing. And then we can turn the on off switch to the on position and then press and hold the connect button for three seconds. And then we can turn the mouse over and test it out and see if it's working. And if that doesn't work, we're going to turn the mouse over, making sure not to point the laser light at any living thing, and then turn the on off switch to the off position and then turn the mouse back over. And then we're going to remove the wireless USB receiver. All right guys, so if the steps that I just showed you did not work, the other thing that you can try is if you have another available computer, you could try going through the setup process on a different computer and see if that works. And if that didn't work, the other thing that you can try is to reach out to HP to see if they have any additional steps that you can try. All right, guys, so that's just about it for this video, and I hope that it was helpful, and thank you so much for watching. And like I said earlier, I do have other videos on this mouse that I'll link at the end of this video, and if you're interested and have time, please check those videos out. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.